Hello everybody, welcome to another closing bell uh, for week ending 30th of May. And uh, so what's happening? All right, Catherine, got your message. Yeah, we will send the recording. How's the course? Yeah, doing very well. Thanks a lot, Catherine. Yeah, it's winter now. I heard it's getting colder also in Australia. And uh, things are moving nicely in there. Uh, well, Australia registered a first really heavy deficit, 19 billion. Uh, that's... So that's uh, every country is facing a bit of cutback too, right? So where we are today, everything is red. <laughs> everything is red, which is interesting. Okay, let's see. Now, our market is down seven points. And today we are seeing a heavy correction over on the uh, Singapore side. You could see Singapore here is, let me just bring these things up, uh, highlighter. It's down almost uh, 51 points or 1.5 times i'm going to show you the chart uh in there malaysia is holding up as i said before uh singapore and malaysia are two different animals in a sense malaysia is quite isolated uh yes it has its inherent problems like you know the government st stuff like that but knowing itself foreign funds don't look at that pay much attention to the you know uh, way of doing business thing most important for them is able to come in put their money in invest and then get out they really worry uh really little about uh, about what you know the corruption level most countries also have it also there in that case and singapore uh, i'm still trying to find out what has made this significant drop that we see in singapore which is going through uh australia not so good too it's down uh 60 points or one and a half percent pretty much the same story uh josh soros some of the big institutional are shorting the uh australian dollars and uh going forward you do know that the uh uh, par uh parity which is the australian dollars to the uh US dollars has been a bit overvalued over the last one and a half years. This is partly due to the uh, commodity boom that we experienced in 2011 up to 2013 for the Australian economy. So what we're seeing now now is the uh, there is talks about uh, US dollar uh, strengthening against the Aussie dollar to able to drop, which in my opinion is a good thing for the Australian uh, currency, which is, has been overvalued. Uh, this is also partly due to the, the RBA, which is the Reserve Bank of Australia cutting interest rate uh, that we have about, I think, a big week, two weeks ago, a 25 basis point. And going forward, there may be another cut in July, perhaps another one coming in uh, end of the year for the Australian side of things. So that's that's why we're seeing a lot of these things. Now, what's really spooking the market, why you see all this rate? Uh, this is partly due to the uh, uh, mixed message, which I would update you guys uh, on the June stock market comment and uh, from Ben Bernanke. At one point of time, they will continue uh, the QE as long as possible. At the same time, should there be any uh, improvement in terms of the unemployment numbers or the uh, jobless claim, which actually does come from the house, uh, sorry, housing index or housing data that is coming up, which is showing positive growth. Now, like it or not, if there is an improvement in the housing data that is coming from US market, that means jobs are created. If you if you think deeply, you know, housing and people buy houses, permits have been made, uh, people buy a car, people buy fridge, people buy you know paints, people buy building material, and that's actually translate to a lot of consumption economy for, for the uh, US market. So that's why we are seeing uh, Australia is really hitting uh no sorry, sorry, US Dow Jones hit above the fifteen thousand level in here, still holding up the base here. But all right, good. Okay, housing is booming in US. That's it's correct. It is booming in US. But then again, uh, this is as if you compare back to 2007, uh, it is booming inside a number of permits reports are coming out and they are showing signs of positive. So, but on the backdrop, uh, Ben Bernanke is saying if the housing numbers that are coming up is good, they might taper off the QE. But if we have seen uh, QE so far, the economics uh, are quite addicted to the uh, QE. So once you pull out this uh, addiction, uh, market is it's going to go through some kind of volatility and we are seeing volatility going through into the second half of second year 2020 but bottom line is also uh you know market need to correct if you, if you look at the i'm going to look at the uh nikkei it's down five percent now the other day it was down ten percent and, and so far it's actually almost enter like a I believe like a 15% correction and Singapore is already down 12 percent from the old high which is entering a correction point so that is why uh, for the month of June on my uh, my website in here is what happened if the bull market correct 
and I'm writing it from a perspective of KLSC uh, in here. I've got probably have a bit of time to just review this uh, with you. Uh, you can read all about it. If you have any question about the corrections, uh, come back to me and typically how, where we are. Uh, we were still spot on on thing. Now let's look at uh, the scheme of things where we are. Oh, we have a big group today. Uh, everyone's is in here. Uh, we are showing. Uh, let, let's take a look at the dark side. Now Malaysia is still pretty much really nice. You know, poised in. You got volume ever since the uh, general election. As I said before, those of you who came for my April six talk, the pre elections. I'm saying that general elections are uh, still going to be pretty much business as usual, the BN will win with a uh, small margin in here, foreign funds will continue to buy. And that's why we are seeing this huge uh, level of volume that you see in here. Uh, you know, if you look at the average in here and the average volume, that's almost a double increase of the volume because uh, the, the, the so-called original market, in this case, Malaysia has to play catch up. Right, catch up, catch up, catch up. That's the theme, right? not tomato ketchup. Okay, it's a catch up in the market. So we are up almost five percent in here, and uh, Singapore was up about seven or eight percent just about three days ago. But I'm going to show you the chart uh, next to it. You will see, you know, we have this huge fall in terms of Singapore SGX market, which actually going through a real sell off that we see in here. Uh, this here, if you put three thousand four to uh, three thousand three hundred, that's a hundred and fifty points drop from three thousand four hundred fifty. We are talking. Something something like 4% corrections uh, for some stocks about 12% correction, 4% correction in here which in my opinion is still within the uh, spank we're looking about 5% correction anything less than 4% correction is deemed as a uh, uh, in material all right anything less than a 5